What's up, guys? And good morning, good day, good evening, good night for all of you guys out there in the world. Uh, this video is going to be a showcase of one of the mythic mobs I have created, and it is Torch. His name is Torch. Right here, Torch. Uh, Torch is very awesome. I'm very starting to get more knowledgeable with uh, creating mythic mobs and I want to share my knowledge with you guys because there's not a whole lot out there and if you want to make custom mobs it's uh, it's a lot of fun so let's get into it all right so here is my friend torch okay torch is a level 8 elite in this dungeon that we are in currently um, he has two other counterparts, which are Chaos and uh, Wraith, which I will leave a link in the description for. Um, but so Torch summons Magma Cubes, which are called Torch Minions, as well as uh, if I turn on Survival here, you will see that he launches a missile tracker lava particle thing and they actually leave a really cool particle effect behind super 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 awesome uh, and I'm gonna show you guys the code on how I put them together and kind of explain it uh, as far as what I've learned so far so yeah Alright, so here is the full screen. I'm going to try and break it down a little bit, uh, hopefully for people that still need help with uh, how to set up mobs on Mythic Mobs, I will uh, be of some assistance to you. So we'll start at the top. This is the display. This is the name that it calls to in-game whenever you uh, you know, want to get an egg or summon it or something like that. Uh, type is is what type of mob you want it to be. With this one, I'm actually using Libs Disguise to disguise it as a skin, which is what I've called Torch there. Uh, the display is going to be your what you want it to pop up as in-game, as well as the boss bar here. Um, and you guys can copy all this down. This is how I learned. I, I, I watched a video, wrote everything down, messed with numbers and digits one at a time to kind of help me learn, so hopefully... You know, this will help some people out. Um, 200 health. I tested it against uh, some weapons that we've created up to this point on the MMO server. And uh, 200 health is about the right amount. Um, he doesn't have any, like, actual physical damage because, you know, he's a caster. So um, I have a torch and a book and a hand and offhand. Uh, for options, we have always show name false, because if you don't put, turn that to false, you'll be able to see everybody's names through the walls, and it's kind of annoying. Uh, true for preventing sunburn. Obviously, it's a zombie. You don't want it to just burn. Even though it's all enclosed, it still has a chance to burn for sure. So uh, uh, we want it to prevent all other drops. Don't, don't do prevent mob drops. Prevent other drops. Mob drops will prevent anything from dropping, even mythic items, so... Make sure you use prevent other drops. And then uh, this is why I was wondering why my knockback resistance wasn't working. It spelled incorrectly. Uh, knockback resistance, if you don't want people to just pin them in a corner, you know, because that's always never fun. Um, I actually have his movement speed very slow because I wasn't sure how to get them to just stand still and cast uh, without chasing you down. So I just gave him a really small movement speed, 0.07 on the movement speed uh let's see here silent as well because i don't want him just going Bleh, like a zombie so we gotta get that out of there um his skills here we will check these out in a second burn uh it calls over here on the to, on under torch's skills for burn we'll go over that in just a second um and then torch minion which is pretty much a replica copy and paste of this but i wanted it to I wanted them to be able to ignite you if they touched you just the same as the burn skill does. So, uh, and obviously a lot less health on these guys because, you know, you don't want, you want the, you want the minions to be there to annoy, annoy people, but you don't want them to be like a whole brand new mob, you know? So, yeah, so that's that. Uh, so we have burn at self on timer. So it's going to happen every, every you know, 20 ticks is one second. So two, 
two point one seconds or something like that. Um, and then he's going to cast it on himself. So if we go over to the skills, we'll hang out here for a little bit, and I'll try and explain what all this is. Um, so first off, the name of the skill that you're calling for on the actual mob itself. Uh, we don't have any conditions or cooldowns on this one, but uh, the skill we're going to use is Missile. Now, I, for the most part, for most of my mobs up to this point, I've used Projectile. Which projectile is awesome, but it doesn't track the person. So if you want the bullet to track the person kind of like a shulker bullet would, I would suggest you use missile because it works very well. Uh, and then you're going to want to have an on tick, on hit, and you can put on end if you want something to happen at the end of the cast. So more or less on tick is going to be when it leaves the caster's hand. On hit is going to be what happens when it actually hits or if it hits. So you can see down here under the on. So I've got on tick equals burn tick. So this is calling to burn tick here. Uh, and burn tick, all it does when it leaves, and this is when it leaves the actual um, mob itself, all it does is create a particle effect, which this is the awesome particle effect that I've got going on here, guys. It's the lava drip particle. With, uh, I actually don't believe that the colors really do anything if it's not like a dust particle or something like that. Uh, but the amount is 20. That's the amount of particles. And this is the horizontal velocity. So how wide it's spread horizontally and as well as how high it's spread vertically. So if I was to take that and make it 4.0 and 4.0, that... that that would then make a wall of lava rather than, you know, like a missile. So that would be kind of nuts. But uh, always put at origin for these as well for uh, your particle effects, especially on tick. Absolutely. Uh, next, we've got the on hit, which is we've got burn hit down here. So on hit is calling to burn hit. So more or less, uh, you want it to deal damage when it hits. Um, I also made it to where... There's a kind of a flame explosion that happens if it hits you. And uh, also ignite. I want it to ignite you for 20 seconds. So we kind of added all that in. Um, all this stuff back here is uh, interval. Interval is every time it ticks. So more or less, if if it has like a low interval, like... Point zero one, you will see the particle like nice and smooth coming right at the target. If it's a higher, if it's a higher one, like one or two, you'll almost see it like skip a frame almost. So pretty much the lower the number, the higher the frame rate, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, maximum range 10. So that's as far as that's going to go. It's going to travel 10 blocks and then it'll dissipate. Um, and then we've got HS and HP and HNP, which these are, okay, hit player, true, hit player, true, hit non-players, false. So this way he won't kill his own minions, if that makes any sense. So when he spawns those minions prior to me putting this on here, uh, he would hit and hurt his own minions, which we didn't want that to happen. Uh, and then HS is going to be hug surface. So more or less, that's going to make it to where it just stays on the ground level. And then we've got, uh, and then we've got our SE and SB, which is stop at entity and stop at block. So these are both set to false uh, because I wanted the particles to be able to travel through blocks and chase people down. So that is definitely what we got going on there. But yeah, I think pretty much, you know, that kind of wraps it up. You know, you guys can pause the video and copy and paste this and play around with it. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you want to see my MMORPG server live, make sure you tune in to uh, twitch.tv slash see through underscore. And uh, yeah, we will, uh, you know, we will most definitely see you next time thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something and i will uh, keep you guys updated on the new mobs that i create talk to you later bye